Hi everyone, this is Joel Chua with another live paint over and audio commentary. This is one of my students' works. Not very nice, but we're going to try to make it look better. It's a swamp town train station. Looks like the student, well, it, he tried to put in a lot of these vines and overgrowth. And this is supposed to be an interior. What I don't understand is how this train can actually collide with another one coming from this direction. Which is kind of weird. So we're going to try to fix that. And then there's the problem of it being too symmetrical, sliced in the middle. Not very pretty. We're going to have to bias it one particular direction. And lastly, we're going to have to clean it up because it looks like a mess. The student thinks it's finished, but I don't. So let's see what we can do about it. First, I'm going to duplicate that layer and maybe set that as the layer I'm going to work on. Let's see. Uh, hmm. We're going to bias this first. We're going to take this side, shove a little less color in it, and just paint that whole thing. Wait a minute, what's there? Is that important? Probably not. So, as you can see, the train doors, well, that door over there is just way too big. I mean, the train is this big, and the door is that big. It's already a big problem. So I'm going to shove this entrance possibly a little over here. Oops. Alright, put that on another layer. Let's see if we can't put it over there. And we can also bring it lower. I'll eliminate this entire thing. And I'll add more here. So the train station becomes the important thing. The train doesn't look as much as important as it did before. Now this is rather long and kind of weird. So we're going to try to get rid of that. And we put that there. We have this nice long thing. We have to put a roof. I'm going to try to put something else here to make it a little more interesting. And we possibly need a. Yeah. Put some of this. We're also going to fix this perspective and put it down there. And what are we going to do with this? I'm not really sure, but he has the train going off into a corner of the picture. It's not pretty nice. So, what can we do about it? Hmm. First, let me put the track. Just an indication. Using my line tool. Then this, I'm, I'm considering putting a roof over there, maybe until here, and then this one, and perhaps something like this, and I don't know, but I can probably cut it off here. I'm thinking in terms of graphic design first, rather than an illustration. 
So, I'm trying to make it look pretty first as a design of a bunch of shapes. Let's see if I can't do something. Get those shapes first. I'm gonna have to make this train bigger because the door is way too big. Or I'm gonna have to change the door to make it small. So I think I'll just make it smaller. Or maybe I can do both. Okay. Let's get this. Wait. This thing is a solid perspective. Okay. So that fits that. That's the train. I think that's the butt of the train. I don't know why you need wipers on the butt of the train. But what's the point? It looks like it hasn't been used for quite some time. So, let's add a bit of that mess. Mess, 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 mess. I'm just lighting it by 10% white and darkening it by 10% black. We have a problem with the perspective here as well. So I have to trim that. And I have to trim this. Okay, then I shove that over there. Probably need to have some punching out. Yep, there we go. Punched it out a bit. Let's get rid of that grass, it's way too big. So, where else can we put something? Perhaps over here. It's supposed to be an overhang, so going over the ceiling, vaulting over the ceiling. Could probably get away with not putting that. Uh, this will help pull the perspective further. There, so this is how it looks like, and this is how it is now. That only took like eight minutes. Uh, let's cut this short. Okay, now we know we can put in some background into the place. There's a sky. We can make a stairway off. Somewhere, maybe lower. Okay. okay, so we sell tickets somewhere. That sign is kind of crummy, so we're gonna get rid of it. And we'll put the ticketing box here where people buy tickets or used to buy tickets. We'll have to make a bigger window. Okay, let's get rid of all this excess height. We're gonna have to make one side a little darker. Ooh, that's too dark. That's better. Okay, we'll put all these twigs back later when I'm done painting the overall structure of the thing. So let's flip it horizontally to check how it works. Take the train a little off. Okay, so here we go. That right here. Uh, let's get rid of that wiper. Let's put a door here. Or the ticket guy to get inside. Let's clean up this door. 
get work with perspective. And this on the floor doesn't look like a shadow unless I brighten it up. Yeah, that's right. Brighten it up. So, anything else we could do here? We could probably put a third element, perhaps a beam or something vertical here, just to hold up the building structure. So, let's put it there. Right. Let's see, take one side of it, darken that, take the other side, darken it. Okay, so now we know this thing goes up higher. We could put another overhang here. Oops, I'll fix that perspective. And also the students don't get perspective even after taking their freehand class, drawing class. So that's a big problem. That looks kind of short. Let's extend that further. Okay. Now we'll try to pull that color a little more around the thing. We'll see how that works. Right now, I'm not really sure. That doesn't look like it's very tight. Okay. Now, since this train is in a swamp town, perhaps we can put some swampy indications such as this which the student made essentially green I'm gonna pull the green a little more to the blue and a little more uh, what richness to it and I'm gonna fill this up lower the opacity okay maybe add a few uh, scribbles just to indicate uh, it's a swamp. We could put the twigs and the weed, well, the weeds and the alligators and crocodiles later. But if this tr train is still moving, we'll have to put some indication of that. But if it's not, if it's just run down and not being used anymore. We can make that work too. I think it'll be simpler. Besides, there doesn't seem to be anybody in the entire station. The student didn't put anybody. So it looks completely dead. But if that's what he wanted, then that's fine. Well, we left much of his wig twigs there. Looks nice. Where's these layers now? Uh, that's all the stuff I did. Let's compare before and after. Okay. So we haven't gone messing it up yet. We're not supposed to mess it up as we go. We, mess, we can mess it up as we go, but we have to focus on the overall design first. And then you can mess it up. If we do it all at the same time, becomes a really difficult challenge. Let's put a couple of marks here. Pull that off. Uh, it could be an overhang. This can signal the center of the station. We can add a bit more. It's supposed to be in African swamp, which there's no such thing as an African swamp. I don't know, maybe there is. Maybe I'll Google it later. But really, there isn't one. Most of Africa probably doesn't have any. That's a car. Okay, so we put some design and 
got a door here, perhaps a sign that's a little off. Put some elements in another layer. Here's a sign. So, uh, let's flip it again. That's how it looks now. This might be a bit distracting. So, let's close it off somehow. Ooh, perhaps a couple of those circular elements or whatnot. Let's spit a few, see what happens. You know those things where they actually release hot air into the ceiling, uh, into the ceiling, into the sky. Maybe you can have some of those. More for warehouses, so I don't know if that will work. This is a very high ceiling, so you can actually afford to put a lot of stuff there. Uh, just not sure what to do with it. Not right now. Okay, so 16 minutes in or so, uh, approaching 17 minutes. Lots of progress so far. This unfortunately is not a train that will work once it gets wet. Uh, we can put a line on top that can suggest it can still work. Okay, so we got out some lines. Uh, let's detail this little tram a bit more because it's, you know, everybody's got to read it as a tram. The butt of the tram, not the front. For some reason, it's not the front. You don't need lights at the back. This is probably going to be in there. And I'm going to put that there. Just break it. It's smiling. Okay, let's put that together. And that's what we got as a concept. So I only took around 18, now it's 19 minutes. So I'm going to start messing it up. And if I usually spe I'd probably spend more time making all this wonderful stuff come alive with more openings and stuff. But, you know, if you don't want to, that's fine too. Let's see what we can do about the centerpiece here. Something like that. Let's do like this. Let's put something in there. Let's put something in here. Come on, put something there. I think grayed out windows would be fine and then yeah, probably something that looks like this, just as a centerpiece. Here would be whole design. We can carve it out later. There we go. So, uh, we'll put some of these things back in. Uh, let's try to think of a pattern. Alright. Let's look at the pattern. It looks like 
We'll use another color. Too light. Putting lines like this takes a lot of time. Okay, well, let's take this one out. We probably have a column there. Hmm. We have a rather high ceiling. In any case, let's start putting stuff to make it less uh, clean. For the textures, so I'm using the usual brushes I use this sort of thing, and hopefully, I don't have to struggle too much putting the old disrepaired look, even if I got everything and practically just tooling. Mm -hmm. You can still be done. Let's rust the top. Put it on another layer. Let's enhance the quality of this overall images by lighting it now. I'm just basically burning. Because the student made the thing too bright anyway. I'm using a burn tool. Burn, burn, burn. I think the students are just afraid of making stuff look dark. Okay, we need some light. So, and that's just to indicate that uh, there could be a lot of light out there. I'm going to make a new layer, set it to color dodge, pick something bright. And have it shine through. Uh, no, let's have it one layer. Just followed by another one. Followed by another one. On another layer. Doesn't really matter so much about the blending mode. As long as you keep it consistent. Okay. Yeah, we have to put that a little lower because it's distracting. I'm moving that into a separate folder, those effects. Hiding them for now. And now we'll put some cracks on the floor. Let's use a reverse vein brush. Let's see. Wait, I got that there. Okay. That's some of that. Let's put some perspective to that texture. Let's clear out the excess. Lower opacity and perhaps set it to another blending mode. Okay, let's merge it. 
and add some details to the graph. Wait, before we merge it, why don't we just duplicate it, set it to the side of it, change its color entirely, and give it light. There. Not bad. I could probably pull that closer. It has to be under. That's a good extreme. That's better. Let's see if I can just hide that ugly thing that I have over here. There. Uh, let's put a few cracks here and there. Wiggle it with a smudge tool or paint it with a very hard brown brush. Okay, then you add organic elements, which we'll probably use something organic as well. Let's get some vines to creep in and stuff. Let's put that on layer. So it's a swamp. So we'll have to expect some mangroves might have gotten inside. I put it all in a separate layer so I can still fix it if it had to come to that. It's called horizontal stroking to indicate some texture. Bring back the light and see how it looks. Okay, we have to indicate some of that light yeah, on these ones over here. Okay. Stuff. And then we have a little more of these tiny things up here, which are probably green vines. And let's put that on another layer too. I try to elaborate what the student did up there. Actually, the student did it everywhere. So we can get away with doing it anyway too. He's got holes in the roof actually. Oh, do I want to do that? Put some leaves and stuff. Very small indications. That looks a bit too dirty for me. Then I'm a neat freak, so probably won't work. Crossing over, a little bit of light, and add some lighted areas here and there. And I'm going to use a smaller brush and put some here and put some there. Okay. Here we can give a sense of an opening in the sky, maybe, in this sort of thing. So uh, I will put a hole. And I will light up this part to give people a sense of the thickness of this hole. Doesn't look like glass. We we'll might as well include the effect there. But this is uh, less of the direct sunlight and more of the possibly skylight. So I'm gonna 
slow it down a bit. Hmm. It looks like I may have to kill off a lot of the color somewhat. We'll take out the selection first. Uh, yeah. More light here, perhaps. Hey, that thing's not changing. Oop. We'll have to light it up with some green. Set the screen. If I set it to screen, it gets cold, so I'm going to shut it to the right. You can probably add little uh, bugs and stuff. Give it an enchanting feeling. Although, there's a sense of enchantment to this place. I'm not sure I should put it there, but there's no sign of life. I might as well put a few dots here and there. You can also use a dissolve brush. Dissolve. Okay, it's now 30 minutes in, still painting this thing. I've got a dissolve brush. I'm lowering opacity. And I'm just gonna pick a color and add a few flex. Flex. I could then blur it if I wanted to. Blur. Blur. Okay, this thing way too clean. We gotta do something about that. So let's put this on in the effects layer. I mean, my effects set. Put it there. Yeah, that's the hole. I'm gonna add some dirt here. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll add also some contrast to these windows. We can make them appear uh, like windows because they don't look like it. Whoa, I'm still dissolved. Let's put out another layer. I mean, just paint the windows. Make them lower the opacity. One more. And lower the opacity. Hmm, still rather bright. I'm gonna have to dip it down some more. I'm gonna have to use this color so I can bounce off of this object. And set mine to darken. My layer will darken. Don't want it up there, and I don't want it down there. Let's leave a bit of the room here, just for a bounce. Okay, and then we have a. Uh, this was the main entrance. It would have been more interesting that people come in through here and then buy tickets there. So let's see what we can do about that. Let's pick up the sign, increase the size of the entrance, to make it match the scale. Although they would probably come in the front entrance over here, which is I didn't think of it sooner, but that's. It would be the best place to put the main entrance. So, what can we do about it? Well, we could take this thing and shove it way farther. I just shoved it aside. Spent all that time on that, and I end up shoving it to the side where the tickets are being sold. Then I replace this part with a big door. That can be the train station door, or just a 
part of a door to another part of the another part of the entire place. I'm gonna call and stamp this. Don't wanna have to paint another texture down there. And I'll also call and stamp this. Okay. So I basically just popped open a big door. And I'm going to try to make it extend into the building. To give this place a bit more depth. Lighten that up. I should also lighten the floor up. Let's put that on a new layer. Okay, then we poke a hole here. Mm, sunlight, maybe. Sunlight, sunlight. Give a sense of depth. Uh, brighter. A little brighter. So people can pop in through there. Now we have to turn it a little dark because that's the ground and that's not sky. Let's put some ground. Just to give people the idea, this is a swamp. We could add trees. We can add those lines. Can I add more depth to these windows? Basically, I'm just using my lasso tool and giving it 10% white for those places that need light. Just to indicate those are windows in the door. I can also dodge it. Hmm? Uh, I can take this entire thing, also lighten it up, selecting just this part and deleting it. We get also then faded out. As though it's catching light from up there. Yeah, that's a bit awkward. Probably using the wrong brush for that. Uh, let's use an explosion brush. Blue and weird. No, that's not. Ah, let's just get this again. Get it to blue out. Spray it a bit. Get it to blend. Yep. Get an eraser. Chuck out some parts. Yeah, better. Let's add a few imperfections to these. Okay, so it's now 40 minutes in, and this video has gone really long. But it's so fun to mess up somebody else's work. Let's add a bit more light here. Let's get that to warm up. Okay, this thing way too distracting. So what can we do? We can put a real door. Or 
just see if we can try to make it work better into the shot. It's way too dark of a space. I don't know what the right thing to do is here. I'm gonna experiment. Could it be swamp dust? Swamp mist. Would be a nice idea. So let's try to incorporate what I just did up here into the environment I have here. Use my cloud brush now to trim down this smog and generate some fumes. Spray the bar of stuff. So we have some swamp gas. I don't know if that's a real thing, swamp gas. It looks cool. For the floor and some shadows. Oh, we'll need to break this shape up up here, and I'll probably call it done after that. It's hard to know when you're done, but if you just see how far you've come, you know, a little, just looking at the update will make you feel, ah, this is good. I did so much. Okay, I'm saving it. Oh, I'll put it save it later. So let's pack it all together into one folder. Uh, there's something wrong with the tram. It's glowing. Yeah, that's right. It's glowing. It seems to stand out too much. So I'm gonna have to burn it into submission. Okay, that's it. I'll call it done. So this is a Swamp Town Railway Station interior. This is what it was before. We dealt with the center problem. We shoved it towards one side. We changed the scale of the door to match the scale of the train. We also got rid of this colliding railway, which doesn't make any sense. And we took the idea here and turned it into a roof we took the idea here and turned it into a partially partial roof and we took out the wipers oh, yeah that wasn't so important we also dipped everything under swamp water and gas and we broke a few windows poked a few holes essentially that's it I didn't put back the ticket sign I don't think it's necessary it's Probably not going to be red anyway. So that's it. Thanks for watching.